All right. Well. Hello, everyone. My name is Vortzi, and from what I can remember, I think that this is the first time I've ever actually been on camera, which is rather exciting, I guess, and completely uneventful in other words as well. It's just a face cam, really. Anyway, what I wanted to go over today is actually something that I want to start. Um, I might call this Candid Conversations. Because what I want to do with this is not actually edit these videos at all. You can't edit in a conversation, you know? You can't be standing there and all of a sudden jump cut straight away to your next, your next point. So these videos might be a little bit on the longer side because there is going to be some ums and ahs and me trying to figure out what I want to say. Um, but like I just proved then, it sort of makes me a little bit more human, I think. Um, this isn't to say that jump cutting or anything is bad. I just want this to be really my, um, my reaction to the community. So in these videos, I want to be going over, um, a lot of the ideas that I've had for, or that I have for future videos, uh, going over some of the feedback that I've received in my previous ones and just in general talking to you guys because I want to be able to establish actually a sense of community. That's been something that I've always really wanted to do with uh, YouTube. So hopefully through this little lens that I'm looking through now, we'll be able to form some sort of interesting relationship, hopefully. And um, yeah. So the first thing I wanted to go over is um, actually my lack of uploading. What I want to be doing um, just over how I've been working on my previous video, uh, which actually hasn't gone up, which I'll get into later. From working on the Zelda video and working on this previous unreleased video, I've realized that I could probably get a video out about once every fortnight. So every two weeks on a Friday, I think I'll put it out. Um, I'll be releasing one of these sort of like analytical videos. Uh, and then maybe what I'll do is on uh, the Friday in between, I might release one of these videos. So that'll give time for there to be a bunch of comments for me to sort of work out what I want to um, talk about in my other videos, uh, what I want to, yeah, what I want to improve on in future videos. And yeah, so hopefully this will all end up going well. Um, what I did want to do actually is go over some of the comments that I received from other ones. So you can't actually, why not? This is really rough and unedited and stuff. So this is a screen, uh, that is currently showing stuff for an assignment that I'm doing for uni. Oh, let's bring you back over to me. Have a bit of a peek around my room. If people want to see my room, leave a comment and I'll see it. Um, so on this screen here, I'm just going to be pulling up the Zelda video and we'll be going over some of the comments that I got because they were very nice. Um, well, honestly, I, want, I, want, I really want to stress this. Even if you don't like a video, I want to know why. This is like the very, very beginnings of this like whole YouTube idea, right? So I have done YouTube stuff in the past. I've like made uh, little funny montage things for League of Legends. Um, I've done some stuff with Overwatch, like two videos, I think. And before that, I was doing videos with my cousin, uh, and we were doing, like, let's play videos of, um, what was that, like, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2? No, Modern Warfare 3. Uh, we did a whole bunch of stuff. I'm pretty sure you can all still see them on the channel. Um, so this is sort of the, the, the new dawn of what I want this to be. I've really been enjoying watching analytical style of videos, um, sort of educating people. Um, yeah, so I really want to be doing that and giving back to, uh, YouTube and sort of forming my own community and being able to sort of explore this on my own because it is something that I'd love to do outside of university when I finish. Um, I'd love to be doing this sort of stuff. It'd be really fun. So, with that being said, let me pull up my video. Uh, where is it? It would be home. Like I said, these videos, they're not going to be edited or anything, so they could end up really long, but I just wanted it to be candid. I wanted it to be... Um, I wanted it to be real, you know? So, my channel, 
let's go here. And then let's roll up the video game stories, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So YouTube has once again changed their layout and every single time they do it, I reckon it gets worse. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. So let's go down and read out the comments. Now I've also posted this on Reddit. I posted this uh, video on the, I'm pretty sure it was the Breath of the Wild subreddit. I will check because there was also some comments there that I wanted to go over. But um, yeah, it was, it was on the Breath of the Wild uh, subreddit, so I just posted this there to try and get some extra feedback as well. Make sure to stay in frame. All right. So the first thing I'll go over, I'll just go over the Reddit comments really quickly because I have them open. I want to. I don't have to prove anything to you. <laughs> um, yeah. So the first thing comes from Redditorian Citizen. And he said, you know what, actually, while I said that I wasn't going to jump cut or anything, I will put these comments on the screen so you can see them. Um, and that way you can follow along so it's not me just reading off the screen. So, Redditorian Citizen said, fantastic video, especially as your first addition to YouTube, which is kind of correct, but kind of not at the same time. But... You should probably edit out the cutscene opening the final boss fight. It's bad etiquette to show that in a review thing. Other than that, a thousand thumbs up. So, Redditorian Citizen, thank you very much. That actually means a lot to me to hear that. Um, I really want to be able to, like, progressively get better in, like, the professionalism of how these videos come across. So hearing that, like, people have enjoyed my first edition is really rewarding. So thank you very much. And I 100% agree with you on your no spoiler thing. Like, thinking about it, I've had this comment also from some other people that I talked about the video with, and they did say that, like, keeping spoilers out of things when they don't need to be there is something that I should be keeping in mind. So I will not be doing that from now on. I will not be putting spoilers in unless they either have a spoiler warning or they are absolutely necessary to what I'm talking about. So... On from that, uh, we also had a guy replying, so I said something along the lines of, I'll, I'll put my comment up here, I said, thanks, you're right about the Ganon scene, I never thought about, uh, I never thought about putting in a spoiler tag in the video, I probably could have just taken the footage out completely, thanks for your input though, I'll be sure to take that into account more in any future videos. And then some guy replied that, this guy's name was Lumpy Skull, and he said, TBH, if you're going to watch a gameplay video on YouTube, you should expect spoilers without a warning, but that's just my opinion. You know, I, t I kind of agree with that. Um, I mean, it's great for him to have sort of given me the benefit of the doubt there, but um, I think I will be thinking, I will be going along more of the lines of Redditorian Citizen's comment, because uh, I don't want to spoil things for people without needing to. Like, there's no reason for me to, like, take something away from someone that they can experience. Uh, obviously, if there's like a spoiler for something that is really big, really well known that happened like years in the past, like I think if I was going to spoil something from like the Simpsons movie or something from, uh, I don't know, The Last Airbender, not the movie that doesn't exist, but The Last Airbender TV show, which is fantastic, by the way. If I was going to spoil something from that, I'm pretty sure I can be given benefit of the doubt because they've come out so soon soon. No, opposite of soon. So far back. Wow. This is a benefit of seeing myself in a candid video with no editing. You get to see me stuff up, but let's go on anyway. So another comment that I had is from um, Quetzal Chaotal. You know what? This is why I'm happy that I said that I was going to put these comments on the screen because if any of you can pronounce this name, then like thumbs up to you. So he says, or she, let's go with they say, because got to keep a PC now. They said it was pretty good. My biggest thing, my biggest things is that you as <laughs> fantastic commentary. My biggest things is that as you were wrapping up, it didn't feel like it. I thought you were finally getting into a good groove and then it was over. 
I hadn't even beat the game, but I feel like you could have easily discussed what makes it so good in more specific terms. For someone who has already played the game, it was fine, but for someone who hasn't, I don't think you would have sold me on it. You didn't really say what the game did, or how it works. You said a lot of somewhat vague things without giving away anything at all. I know I won't, but seeing you no take this video up to the, but seeing I'm pretty sure he's trying to say not, but seeing you not take this video up to the potential it has makes me want to do a video of my own. Don't assume people watching know everything that you do, and if you really enjoy the game, then gush about it. Gaming seems to be really important to you, as evidenced by your opening monologue, but you never really sold me on the passion behind it, just my two cents. Now, I agree with that. That's the sort of really constructive criticism that I like, because it's taking things that I didn't do and telling me about it. Because, like, as good as it is to just get, like, you've done really well and everything, the best thing for me is to hear what I could have done better, what I did wrong, what would have made the video more exciting for a viewer or more interesting for a viewer. So stuff like not getting to a point or not feeling like I really explained the point well enough, I think that's really good. Even though I'm not entirely sure what they are saying, almost got myself, what they are saying in their comment, that sort of thing really just makes me think about what I want to do. So, yeah, that's really useful. So, to however you say your name, thanks very much. Uh, and, yeah. Anyway, let's go on. So, that is it, actually, from Reddit. Um, one more thing that I wanted to say quickly. Most of the videos that are actually be coming out, I am doing for assignment work related to my university courses. So, I don't entirely know whether I'm going to be doing stuff that comes out of, like, left field. Like, for instance, this assignment that I had up before, um, that you saw, like, a really quick snapshot of the screen for... That assignment is actually for, like, doing stuff about media theory. So, I don't know if people want to learn about, like, bias within media or, like, how advertisers work. Personally, I don't really feel as confident doing a video on that simply because I don't feel that I have a good enough grasp of what those subjects actually are. Well, not what the subjects are, but I don't feel like I have enough of an idea about those subjects to give a qualified opinion. Not that my opinion is, like, really well documented or really well, like, resourced. Uh, like I said, I am very, very, very new to this. So, expect me to fail um, and expect me to get better. Because, as I said, I'm trying to get better. I'd love to do these really professionally. So, yeah. Um, so, let's get done with the Reddit comments, of which they were, and move on to the YouTube stuff. So, Brandon Mayhorn, actually, oh, well, this kind of is a good way to tie it in, actually, because he says, found this on Reddit, really loved your narration and all over professional feel that the video had. This rivals some of the stuff IGN and GameSpot puts out. Definitely subscribing. Well, thank you very much. I'm not entirely sure if I'd agree that it rivals some of the stuff that IGN and GameSpot puts out, but as an opinion, I guess you're entitled to it, just as everyone else is. And that does make me feel awesome. So thank you very much. And yeah, let's go on. Abby Aylett just says first. All right. The Sneaking Ninja says, my boy Vortzi coming out with that quality content. And holy shit, I want to play this game. You know what? Thanks, my boy. You've been a subscriber for a while now, actually. I've seen your comments on, like, videos that I used to do ages ago. So, welcome back, my dude. And if you're here watching this one, leave us a... I don't even know if I winked then or if I just blinked. So, I'm going to wink. Leave us a comment, boy. And, um, nice to see you around. By the way... You got some piano skills, my dude. Anyway, Ms. Zombie Chew says, want to play this now? Nice. I'm glad that I can actually, like, I'm glad that something that I've done actually has inspired someone to want to play something. That actually makes me feel as if I succeeded in what I did. Because what I wanted to do with that Zelda video, actually, is sort of show how it differentiated itself from a lot of the other sort of open world games that have come out because it really does just it really does 
create this hook of making a personal story. And if you haven't seen the video, go watch it because um, it'll make sense about what I'm talking about here. Um, yeah, probably a good idea to go see the video. So, Stormy Sound says, very good. If you need any free music for your content, come skim through the playlists I have. They would really improve your videos. Now, I'm not going to lie. That is a straight up spam bot that I allowed to comment because I like seeing comments and it makes me feel a little bit better. I've got no shame in that. I saw that come up in my like little message box. YouTube gave me this little notification. They went, there are some comments pending your approval. And I went and looked at them. There were two, one of which is now not showing up, which is a little bit weird. But that was one of them. So to the spam bots that took the time out of their day to come and see my video and leave me a comment, um, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I like I like the attention. That's, that's kind of why I'm doing this. I mean, look, I'm not going to lie that right now I like having a small community. I like the fact that I have a community that I can do these videos with and actually communicate with everyone that commented on. But I'm not going to lie, if I had like 10, 15, 20,000 people watching these videos and I had like that many comments, while I wouldn't get around to all of them, I'm not going to lie and say that like, oh... It doesn't, it feels just as good. Like, I reckon that it'd feel better. Like, and I don't think that's something that's necessarily bad to admit. I think for someone who's going out there to try and build a community, I think actually having a community that big around them, uh, is like, that's pretty rewarding. So, yeah. Anyway, that pretty much deals with all of the information that I actually wanted to talk about in this video. I have no idea how long this is. So, I'm guessing that it's over 10 minutes long. I'm pretty sure that's a safe bet. It might be 20. I don't know. But um, yeah, I don't have a timer and I didn't check myself because as I said, these videos are really, really rough. Um, and yeah, but hopefully that gives you an idea of like who I am because yeah, it's great me doing these sort of like edited videos and stuff, but you don't actually get an idea of who I personally am. So yeah. This is me, um, with my little Overwatch hat and my little one ring replica rupee from Zelda, Doom shirt. Yeah, this is me. So, anyway, I'm pretty much going to end the video here. Also, actually, quickly talking about that community aspect. If you would like to really join the community, I'm going to leave a link to the Discord server that I personally use in the description of this video. So if you come on there and say like, hey, I'm a subscriber or something, I will like, I don't know, I might give you your own like special tag so that I can see like who's come into the Discord channel or the Discord server that is a subscriber of mine. Cause I reckon that'd be pretty cool actually, uh, being able to see how much the community grows. But um, if you're interested, if you ever want to talk to me, I'm on there like, pretty regularly like in voice channels and anything and I'd absolutely love to get to know some of you because yeah building a community sort of getting to know people that's that's pretty cool and um yeah so uh this will pretty much be it um my name is Vortzi or I'm going by the alias Vortzi my name is Caleb uh this channel is Vortzi Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of my rambling ragtag video. And I will hopefully see you next Friday with a video that's come out. Um, either that or you'll get another one of these sort of like candid videos, depending on if this goes well, or you will get something earlier because I just wanted to upload something. So next Friday, definitely something coming out. If not, something earlier. I will see you then. Thank you very much. Goodbye.